My name is Jerry Wilson. I'm the owner of Hospitality Technology Solutions. I've been in the point of sale business for over 30 years. My company was built and designed to bring technology to aid business owners like yourself to help you control your people, your product, your payments, and your profits. In this series of videos, we're talking about how to use this technology to stop, stop employee theft. And I'm thinking now, got my car keys here, would you turn your teenager loose with the keys to your Porsche without checking the odometer? I think of this, I think of uh, the movie Ferris Bueller's Day Off, where the kids took the dad's Porsche for the day, thinking at the end of the day they were going to roll that odometer back because he always checked the odometer. Well, did you know that your cash register and your point of sale system has an odometer? And that if you're going to turn your store loose on night managers and anybody else other than you, you might want to check the odometer. And what that means is the day starts with a number and ends with a number and you subtract the two and you know how far you went. The way this happened and the way we caught this thief is the, the store was staying open till 10 on some nights, 11 on the weekends. This particular manager was running the store until 9.30, running a Z report, taking the money out, putting in a fresh new till, and then running from 9.30 to 10, running another Z report, and taking that money for himself. This was a high volume, quick service restaurant. This guy was making big bucks stealing from the owner. Now here's how you catch him. This is how we caught this particular thief. We took the beginning of the day, we took the end of the day, we subtracted it, or actually the next morning. So you take this morning's reading, you take the next morning's reading, and you subtract the two, and that should be your daily sales from yesterday. Well, this didn't add up. There was something missing. We went back and looked at the same 24-hour period. Morning on one day, morning on the next, subtract the two, and they weren't adding up. Every time this manager was on, there was always a discrepancy. There was a shortage. And what we found was this manager was stealing $80, $100, $200 in that 30 minutes that that restaurant was still open. So your registers, if you have a cash register on your Z out report, that number should read NRGT, non resellable grand total. Your instruction manual for your cash register should have a balancing routine in it to show you how to take this total minus this total. And sometimes uh, voids and refunds don't deduct from that, which is a good thing. That's also a security measure to help you stop employees who are refunding and doing voids. But use that balancing formula then to subtract one day from the next and find out what your sales are. That's what you should balance to, not just how much cash is in the drawer. If you have a point of sale system, you may not have a non-resellable grand total, but you have something else you can use. Take your daily sales report, put them on a spreadsheet, add up the sales for the seven days. Then you have a report that you can take a daily or a weekly or a monthly or a time range report. Start the time range on the first day, the ending of the time range on the last day, and, th and those totals should match the total of the seven days that you ran individually. If not, you've got a thief. My name is Jerry Wilson. I own Hospitality Technology Solutions. I've got 30 years of experience using point of sale systems and technology catching thieves. I want to put my experience to work for you. If you like this video, subscribe. If you really like this video, hit the share button and share it with somebody else you think might could benefit from this. My job here is to teach you how to stop your employees from taking home more money than you do.